Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, a little bit of everything with Erin. Today we are going to do a highly requested video doing a coffee mug with glitter and epoxy. To adhere the glitter onto our coffee mug here, we are going to do the Loctite spray adhesive method. As you can see, I have the one in the blue spray can. I also picked up this extra fine purple glitter at Michael's and used my coupon to save a little coin on that. We're going to spray our coffee mug with the spray adhesive all over it. I'll just fast forward for that. I'm gonna add a piece of paper under my coffee mug, which I now have sitting on my turner. And I'm just gonna start pouring the glitter all over that. And the adhesive is just gonna grab onto that. You do wanna work with this a little quickly because you don't want that adhesive to dry. And I'm just turning the cup so the glitter falls onto the paper, which I will then use to put back into the shaker. This will need a second coat. Um, we're gonna let this completely dry. It does take about 30 minutes to an hour. I like to let it dry nice and good and then we will come back and add more Loctite and more glitter. All right guys, so we just sprayed the cup again and we're just gonna start pouring glitter all over that again. The second layer of glitter really does help. Um, you can even do a third if you're still not happy with it but I always just do two coats of glitter. It doesn't matter what method I use, I always do two coats and it looks fantastic. So now there are some spots that still are missing glitter just because they're in a weird angle like the handle. So I'm actually just using my finger to pick up some glitter and place it in those spots. And it will stick as long as that lactite is still nice and tacky. Now that that second layer is dry and you can see how much of a difference that second layer made, we're going to seal that with some clear or triple thick spray paint just to make sure we seal that glitter in so it doesn't move when we add the epoxy. Once the sealant is dry, we start adding our epoxy. I have a one to one ratio mix. Make sure you read the directions for yours. There are some that are two to one and even three to one, so make sure you read that. A lot of people ask me which epoxy I use. I buy in bulk on eBay. I usually spend about $100 on epoxy because I use so much of it, so I go with whoever's cheaper. I will say that my favorite brands are Art Resin and Amazing Clear cast you can pick up the amazing clear cast at michael's or hobby lobby and use a coupon to get that a little cheaper i just like to buy in bulk because again i use so much so we're just going to go all the way around the cup make sure to get the handle and the bottom if you've done those as well Once all the epoxy is added, we're just going to let this spin and do its thing. It's going to take anywhere from 4 to 6 hours to cure and dry, but we're going to let it go ahead for a full 24 hours. Alright, it's been a little over 24 hours and it's nice and dry. We're going to put some 651 vinyl. This is a decal I cut out from craftbundles.com. Use the code ERIN20 to get 20% off anything on the site. I'm going to use some contact paper that I pick up at Walmart in the kitchen section, section to transfer that from the backing onto the cup itself. And I'm just going to use this spatula. I think I got this from heattransfervinyl4u.com for like 30 cents on one of my orders. All 
All right, guys, so we just added epoxy like we did before. I just wasn't going to show it again because it's the same thing. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my page. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Share it if you want to. That really does help me out, and I appreciate it. And if you hit that bell, you'll get notifications anytime I post new videos. I'll have some pictures at the end of this video of the finished product for you. Until next time, guys, happy crafting!